A stash. A stash. A stash. A stash. A stash. The stash. Okay. Uh, do we need any anything from here? I don't think so. Oh, it's fifteen percent damage, not ten percent. That's huge, actually. But not not now. Right, right. So let's stash all of this. All of these things. Right. And off to Coleman we go. <clears throat> and after we are done with Coleman, we are probably gonna head out to... Maybe to the cemetery? Yeah? Yeah, seems like a good idea. Maybe. It's pretty quiet on the streets, so... Something is definitely going on. Yeah. Oh, Vizima. Oh, Vizima. Okay, so Coleman should be like right here, somewhere here. So, let's look around. Oh, a cutscene, good. And if that's all I saw, you'll lose half your gold. Wait, someone's coming. It's that white haired fellow. He spotted us. Careful. He's a witcher. He's dangerous. Finally, the acknowledgement I deserve. Witcher? That seemed like a nice chat. Stop playing the fool. You know. Matter of fact, I do. By the way, you never paid me. Here's a hundred orings. Don't turn me in. Why not? I'm helping Vincent dismantle the secret Salamandra organization. You're not doing too well. Oh, some fool keeps killing salamanders, spoiling our traps and schemes. <clears throat> Any idea who? No, but if I find him, I'll stop his meddling. Wait, and that's it? If I want to expose Coleman, I need to go to the innkeeper? Wait, so that's it? That's so weird. Witcher! Had a parcel for you from Harren. You had it. Uh, pa 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 pa. City yeah, the city card. Curses. Always happens to me. Maybe we can bribe someone. No grudge. Just don't deliver my packages again. Get it? What? That's it? It's pretty simple. We just completed a quest. That's so weird. Witcher. Tell me about the effects of Fistech. In small doses, it lifts your spirits. Large ones cause euphoria, maybe aggression, but relieve pain and fatigue. Looking for fun or entering the business? Neither. So long. Coleman forgave me for losing his parasol. Well, that's that was simple. Also, drowners. Let's hunt some drowners. Uh... Yeah, so him and Vincent are working on dismantling Salamandra. That's kind of good to know. Also, we still need to find Mikul, right? Wait, what? Am I seriously moving faster when I am in a cat stance? That's kind of weird. Oh, I screwed up the combo somehow. Burn! Oh wow. Yeah, that was cute. Come on. Give me give me your remains. What do we have here? Some brain tissue and some acid. Yeah, those are some really good alchemical ingredients, I would say so. Like they are they are they have two different components, so I would assume it's kind of useful. Like, they are a little bit more valuable than just one component ingredients, you know? You know? Right, so this is it. Okay, so Coleman says that they work with Vincent. Uh, Vincent is uh, that city guard, right? 
Suspect, yeah, Vincent Mace. So until until we deal with that, I should probably go ahead to the graveyard, right? We wanted to go to the graveyard, so let's do that. Well, it's the night right now, so there is really no point in doing much else. During the day we'll visit the merchants and probably buy some books and stuff. Um, on some monsters we don't know, hopefully. Also, yeah, I'm so confused with that guy. Where is he? Oh, he isn't here during the night? Yeah, this... I don't, I don't remember what's this called, but... I really wonder what gift he wants. I really wonder. Maybe some... I don't know. I, I seriously have no clue whatsoever. Let's talk to these order guys. What's up with them? Also, can we access that building? Strength within us will heal the world. Oh yes, I bet it will. The temple gate. Oh, can we go to the temple? It's we locked. Give our lives to the order. Well then, the cemetery. Oh, there is also a ghoul. Let's have some fun. Oh, poor dog, by the way. Oh, he just destroyed the dog. Wait, he didn't caught a catch on fire? That's confusing. Wow, ghouls are just not a threat. Wow, that's ridiculous. Yeah, compared to Graviers, they are literally nothing. What's up with the signboard? It's just just says just says about the cemetery, huh? Posters. Can we actually enter it? Hope we can. Let's save. Cause there might be some really bad things happening in the cemetery. Oh, it's actually locked. So we should have probably talked to the gravekeeper first. That was my bad. Hi, Mr. Knight. Do you have you seen? What's his name? I forgot the name of that knight. Damn it, I'm so bad with names. Like, it's so horrible. Oh, Carmen is outside. Well, let's talk to her then. Also, it's almost morning, so... Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Where should we go? I don't know. Let's talk to Carmen. Thanks for helping. They leave us alone now. You're on your own? You mad? Some local boys take care of us. They just couldn't handle those freaks. I see. What's it to be? 200 orans? Unless you'd rather collect another way. Collect another way? Oh! Oh, I get it. Good. I'm no materialist. The good book says no service goes unrewarded. I'll make it known around town and amongst the working girls. We whores know how to show gratitude. That's nice. You're quite unique, but there's no shortage of frauds who'd pretend they're you. Let's agree you'll bring the girls flowers if there's any doubt. That's how they'll know who I am? For certain. I've never heard of a patron who gave flowers to a whore. Okay, so but do you like we can't gift her flowers? See. That's upsetting. That's definitely upsetting. But now we can just gift flowers. And that should do it. It's just that we don't have any flowers with us. But that's fine. Also, we leveled up, right? Yeah, pretty sure we did. We are now level, what, 12? Good. Good. We are almost 15. I can't wait to get 15. Really want those silver talents. So that relief sign is so... Okay, so I have no access to the hospital. Have no access really out of this city. Out of this... Um, what is this? Merchant's Quarter? Temple Quarter? I actually... Yeah, it's Temple Quarter, okay. So I don't really have access to any other city parts. But let's go ahead and loot some, loot some houses. While we are at it, game actually saved right here. My husband doesn't permit me to talk to strangers. 
Why do you have so many people here? Oh, actually not so much. But they have only one bed. Okay, that's weird. Guys, 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 this is this is weird, like seriously. Come on. Come on. Well, we are done here, let's get out. Next house, blacksmith's house. Can we actually access it? Oh. Oh. Oh, it's like so gloomy, the music. The sound effects are so like slow and deep. I don't know. Yeah, no wonder I was scared of this game. No wonder. Like, come on. It's a little bit creepy, at least a little bit. Okay, so a blacksmith has some ale and maybe some rare sword parts. Just maybe. Okay, he has a torch. Some strawberries, of course. And that's it. Can we actually talk to him? Come back in the morning. Oh, come on, man. Now he has two beds for some reason. But he doesn't even have an present, an apprentice, an apprentice. Like, what's up with that? Uh, do we go to Vivaldi's house? Probably not. Not at this point in time. Also, Kalkstein. Also not. So let's uh, let's explore some more random houses, random NPC houses until we actually proceed with other quests. So here, okay, let's, let's check out this door first. Oh, this is like some people, some actual people. Okay, okay. I'm interested. Curious, this accursed disease will kill us all. Okay. I don't buy fish. Who knows how the plague spreads? Okay, I can actually kill them. Like they are neutral to me, so I can literally draw my sword and just destroy them right here. No, impossible. There I they might be some like shapeshifters or something, so I will just save there just to make sure that we can get out safely if anything goes wrong. Yeah, so there was nothing in the basement. Much as I hoped for, but... Hmm. It's really weird that they are named NPCs in just a random house. Maybe they are connected to a random quest or something. Right now we definitely don't know anything about that. Oh yeah, this was totally worth it. A barrel and a door. Good. Oh, the first elf we saw in in this whole city, right? Pretty sure. Oh, against unhumans? We ha haven't read that. Have we? Unknown herb? Wow. Okay. I'm intrigued now. Why is there an unknown herb in this house? Shit yep. Some water. Hmm. Hi, how are you doing? My nation dies, and there's naught I can do. Yeah, that's upsetting, isn't it?
What? Okay, that was just weird. Right, so everything is locked. Hmm. Didn't really find much here, did we? Also, I wonder what Kalkstein is doing in the non-human region of the city. Just a random priest, okay. Is Kalkstein an elf actually? I don't remember, I haven't noticed. He might be, he might be an elf. Shani's house. So we are probably going to visit it a little bit later. Actively seeking capable open-minded swordsman. Inquiries Kalkstein, master of alchemy. Okay. Sure. Can we actually talk to that guard? That prison guard once again about our parcel? Maybe something else will come out of it? Pretty sure this is the last house for us to loot. So after this we'll start progressing through our secondary quests. Maybe visit a blacksmith too, just to sell our bomb stuff and our weapons. Yeah, for sure. Like, this loot is, isn't really worth looting. Like, most of it is just, like, random pieces of food and water. Which is quite easy to get. You don't really need it. Right, oh, okay, it's not yet the day because we can draw our weapons. But there is a gardener here. Weirdly enough. So what's up with this guy? This hospital garden demands a caring hand. You seem to like what you do. Like it? I love plants and know them well. I spent my life dealing in bloodshed. Now's my chance for peace and quiet. Bloodshed? It's no point of pride, but I long earned my living as a mercenary. Those times are behind me now and here I am content. I'm here about the notice. You look like a warrior. Care to kill Echinops for me? Certainly. Bring their thorns as proof. What's this? Plant lice? Look how they What else you got? Tell me about oh, yeah, your tell me. days. Bring me a morsel to eat and we'll talk. Do we have a morsel? Don't you fear the plague? My garden brings joy. When Melitelli decides my time has come, I will go happily. Tell me about your mercenary days. Bring me a morsel. Is this gonna make it? Oh, mm, good. Delicious. Amazing how honest toil can stir the appetite. Thank you, Witcher. May I ask for roses and then... Hmm, roses are nice. You were we saying, haven't encountered during those. During the war, I served as a mercenary and a pretty kitty herself. You've heard what a warrior she was. What a woman. Strong women. Nothing on this earth like them. Too true. We could take on anyone. I saw half the world as a member of pretty kitty's corps of mercenaries. We even went to Zeracania. That's really far. It was hell. Hot as an oven and humid as a bathhouse. We massacred the natives while Zeracania massacred us. They have flies there that creep up your nose at night and lay eggs. Then the larvae eat your brain and crawl out your eyes once they mature into flies. Disgusting. Many of us died thus. There were also diseases, venomous spiders and snakes, and many other afflictions I can't even name. I even saw a striped horse. After almost eight <laughs> months of fighting the jungle, we had to retreat. Impossible to win a war if you can't locate your enemy. 
It was the only defeat Pretty Kitty ever suffered. Interesting story. Thanks. Look how they grow. Okay, so no roses for us now, huh? Oh, maybe yes. Maybe we can actually ask him once again. Bring me a more. Okay, so we just can give him some pork, and then he will give us roses. For roses in exchange. Any specific color? Okay. Well, this is a lot of choice. Give me. There you are. Yeah, whichever is fine. White roses, Raha. Right? Okay. Good enough. Look out. Can we just keep doing this? Why would I need roses though? Well. <gasps> Order of a flaming rose. Maybe we need white roses for that for some reason. Huh. Tell me about your Does he have anything new for us? Like let's just keep feeding him food. Mm. You were saying. Thank you for the meal. I don't know what else to tell you. Seriously, yeah, that's that's pretty exchange. pretty stupid. Any specific color? Well, give us some red roses now. There you are. Thank you. Look how they. So what's what does what does you sell? Oh, this is super cheap. 30 orans? I guess... Yeah. <laughs> I guess meat is cheaper? That's so weird. Why Why would it do that? Why would it do that? Let's sell him some... Oh, it sells for like nothing. It's just like a waste of time just to sell all of that food. It's not worth the time invested. Are those pe okay, so first I saw that those were dogs. Now then I looked at it and those like people. It's kind of sad. Oh, Vincent is right there. That's cool. Let's talk to Mr. Vincent. What does he have to say for himself, huh? Not much else is happening here though. If you hear about the warehouse. I'd advise you to think before saying anything. You intend to deal with Salamandra? The warehouse was official business. The people you cut up wanted to testify against Salamandra. You're lucky they didn't have any valuable information. They actually wanted to trick me. Unconvincing. I don't care. Be warned. If you get in my way again, I'll slap your witch's ass in jail. Understood? I'll continue the investigation on my own, if you're involved in any way. Enough. Anything specific? If not, beat it. I know about your connection to Salamandra. Curiosity is killing me. I have irrefutable evidence you're not involved. I wish you'd said so sooner. Well... Here's a city guard ring. Wear it, and the guard shouldn't give you any trouble. Thanks. Know anything else about Salamandra? Salamandra aims to take over the Fistech trade. Javed smelled the money in it. He's a junkie himself. Okay, then. Good. Good job, Vincent. Yeah, city guard ring should be better than this stupid eternal fire ring. Who was asking me for like... I don't remember who was... Was it a guard? That was asking me for like... A... To show him something? Like to show him the proof of my allegiance or whatever? I don't remember who was that. That's it? Like, yeah, we are probably not getting anything else from him. Let's, let's see. Let's see whether we actually... Suspect Vivaldi. For more information, go on Vivaldi. 
Should question the dwarf. I should speak with Solar. Yeah, seems like that's it. Hmm. The rat. If I want to expose. I might call man on the bridge. It turns out he's Vincent's rat. That's a very useful piece of information. I need to go to the innkeeper who will be very glad to pay for the denunciation. But do I really want to expose Coleman? I probably don't. Right? Because... Wait, but who is he ratting on? I guess those are just sogs in the inn, so... Yeah, that's like irrelevant. Okay. Yeah, I'll just keep Col Coleman next to me. He has fist stack, so we can buy some from him. And that can be useful. As it turns out, the messenger is working for Luvard and I should speak to the merchant. Yes, 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 okay. So during the day we should go to the dike and find the merchant and speak to him. Also we need to visit uh, Solar, like right here. His house is right here to the right. Yep, there we go. So let's go there now. Let's save the game and go there now. Hmm, that's a decent housing. That's some decent housing right here. And our inventory is full. Well, that's sad, as always. Some old shelves, and now our inventory is literally full, so... So he has some stairs down. So we can check his basement while he's sleeping. Let's do that. That sounds like a good idea. Oh my god, there's... I can't loot. I can't loot it! Come on, come on, game. Let's drop our flint. Right, we had 10 stacks of flint somewhere, there we go. Let's drop it and pick this up. Oh, that's good. Yeah, because flint, it's super cheap and we have tons of it. We don't really need it because we have Igni. So, how you doing, friend? I'm a fence. I buy and sell. What you deal in? Everything worthwhile. So what'll it be? We doing some plowing business? Actually, yes. Let's sell some stuff to him. Sell our dagger. Our sword. Yeah, that was good. Wow. Do we buy a rune from him? Actually, let's sell salt pepper and whatever this is, Stamelford's dust, sure. And do we buy formula for potions? Hell yes, that's valuable as hell. Also, there is a book we didn't read. Yep, 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 yep. And also this. Forensic medicine, that can be good. Oh, we don't have space in our inventory. Well, let's sell a flint. We don't really need it at this moment. Whetstone, I probably won't use them ever. 10% damage isn't really worth it. So let's buy this book. Let's buy this meteorite. Let's buy this room and this book. Right, and he doesn't have anything useful. Well, useful stuff, but not for us at this moment. Okay, that was good enough, good enough. Let's read the books, by the way. Uh, some potions, golden aureole, wolf, and black blood. Oh wow, okay. Oh my god, black blood is such a cool 
concept for a potion, it basically corrupts your blood. So if you are getting bitten by a vampire, it like burns them. Oh, that's so cool. Right, so let's read Forensic Medicine. Before beginning an autopsy, we must gather as much information as possible to help us interpret any marks we discover on the body. It is good to know who the victim was and in what setting the corpse was found. Witnesses should be questioned and experts consulted. A well-conducted autopsy gives almost as much information as talking to the victim. We can learn when death occurred, its circumstances and what happened to the body afterwards. We may also learn about the murderer, any objects used in the murder and the manner of their use. A corpse cut with a scalpel is like an open book. Whoever examines the details and carefully tests every hypothesis will understand it. Okay, so we know some medical science now. Let's read this pamphlet. It was then that the Alban wise men called the sages gathered in the dungeons beneath Reinhold Castle. The eldest of them said, The day and the hour have come. We are here to discuss the fall of humans. We will avenge the deaths of Lara Doran. We will shed their blood and drown the world in chaos. We will hide in the forest for 500 years while the Chosen live in human cities and become their neighbors. Everyone knows their place in the plan, whether elf, dwarf, gnome, sorcerer or Nilfgaardian. Whoever betrays us is doomed, we will call ourselves superiors because we have no lords over us and we spit on gods. Then all swore an oath and each drank the blood of an innocent. Wait, we already read this, didn't we? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, we definitely read this. Wow. Wow. My bad. My bad. Also, we didn't talk to the seller at all. <sighs> let's eat a blueberry. Good. Now let's talk. So what will it be? Uh, do we want to drink? Let's let's the just city talk. Guards to him. found a witcher's sword at your place. First of all, it's the cocksucking guards. Second, why do you care? Another witcher, Berengar, came to see you. Well, it wasn't his fucking razor. How do you know that? I have your boyfriend's other property. The sword I got elsewhere. Other property? Right. Meaning not his sword, got it? Like his undershorts that he pissed all over or something. What? <laughs> okay. So where did you get the sword? What'll you give me if I told you? I'll stop short of gutting you. Fair offer. I bought it from a man at the Hairy Bear Tavern. Care to describe him? No need, he's the most famous dice player around. Out fucking standing, a real goddamn magician. Okay. How did you get Berenger's property? Stubborn ass fellow, aren't you? From a middleman. Yeah. Who is this middleman? At the Hairy Bear Tavern. Doubt he'd want to talk to you. Man named Kalman. Oh. Okay then, so let's keep Coleman alive. We really need some information about him. Huh. How did you get Baron? Stop you don't get And don't fucking ask me. Oh, oh okay. Boy was working for the Ouch. Kalkstein. That information you get free. I'll charge you the usual for anything else. So the so Berengar worked for Kalkstein. Also, I skipped some of the. I saw that it was repeated dialogues and whatever. So Berengar was working for Kalkstein, and then he left. So that's good to know. Have you heard of Salamandra? Piss swilling reptiles. I've heard of them, but I've no fucking idea what they want. Amphibians. What? Salamanders are amphibians. Now tell me your connection to them. I'll be proud if I know. You do business with Salamandra? Did you fucking fall off your horse? How did you get Berenger's effects? Dog's balls, I'm a fence. Want me to draw you a picture? You think I ask every thief who he plowed for his goods? Let me draw you a picture. A certain organization, Salamandra, has it in for witchers. 
A witcher, Berengar disappears, and all he had lands in the hands of a fence. You. Getting this? A pox on pictures. Berengar is nothing to me. My suppliers might know more. Besides, I'd never survive in this business if I sold hot goods I actually had a hand in getting. I mean, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. That's believable. A lot of shadowy people hang around here. Am I a fence? I'm fucking believable. But why at night? Will you strut about proudly if you had debts? Be glad they all come to me. If salamanders paid their accounts, the city would have toppled long ago. I suppose that could be true. You have contacts among the city guards. Could be valuable to Azar. Damn dangerous times. I need protection from Salamandra, that's why I deal with the guards. So you say. I pay Vincent's halfwits a few coins and they see to my personal safety. I'm done now, see ya. Hmm, believable I guess. I may have just figured this out. I have to grill Solar about the Silver Sword, find out how he had a if we go to a bear, should ask around. I need to get information about Bjergen from a man named Coldman. I'll tell Solar I have proof of his innocence. Not now. Oh, Not come now. on! Damn it, there was, there was so many. Can we just reset? Can we just reset his talkability? Let's try. Let's try it. Maybe we need to exit actually to the city. For this to work. Not now. Yep. <laughs> Okay, yeah, there is so much dialogue with him. So, he's like... I mean, I guess he's a solar, so whatever. Makes sense. So we'll... Right. You gamble? You gamble? I'm an absolutely great poker player. Why? Care to play? Got balls enough? Try me. Better believe I fucking will. Even now. Let's, let's do it later. Explain to me why the guards tolerate you. <laughs> That's confidential. You need to know how to take care of yourself. Take care? Both the bastard guards and the arse loving thieves need me. That's real art, Witcher. I have deals with everyone. And that makes me untouchable. Right. So what'll it be? We doing some plowing business? Well, seems like that's it for now. Let's go ahead and run around some more. Or maybe let's have a drink. Uh I'll find not you now. Later. I don't feel I don't feel like drinking at this point in time. So let's go ahead. Maybe Where are we headed? Coleman, right. We need to get to Coleman. And ask her, ask him about all of this stuff. Also, we are, our inventory is full, so let, yeah, let's go straight for the inn. Then return back to this merchant. Squ square, whatever, and go from there. Also, this guy is still here. Maybe he has something new to tell us. Yeah. First journey to Fizima? Thanks, Thanks for, for the polish. polish. Hmm. So he had nothing new to tell us. Seems like. Oh, Siegfried, right, that's his name. That's a guy. The knight's name. Siegfried, of course. So yeah, we can just give, uh, can just have a good time. Let's have a good time. Yeah, seems like a good idea. I bet you do. Here is a flower. A red rose, just for you. I don't know how princesses imprisoned in towers show their gratitude when they're freed, but I promise you, you won't be disappointed. I'll hold you to your word. Good job, Geralt. Good job. She 
should be holding flowers, but it's okay. It's okay. Right. So, Coleman. Storage. Storage, then Coleman. Uh, maybe Zoltan has something new to say as? Yeah. Wait, Zoltan isn't here? That's interesting. So there's Butter Bean, we already fought him and won. Random Gambler. High Innkeeper. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let's stash. This, 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 this. Oh, that's a strong alcohol. We actually need that. Runes. Oh wow, incineration blinding plus 25%. Oh, that's beautiful. Except I'm pretty sure it only works for, for blades, right? It, it doesn't work for signs. It works for blade attacks. I guess it makes sense. It should make sense, right? Leather fangs are just for sale. I'm fine with that. So, some more meteorite. Uh, where the reds is. Right. So, that should be it. That should be it. Where the hell is Coleman? Is he still at the dike or whatever? Huh. I won't sell a uh, tail tail innkeeper any maybe okay. Let's see where the dialog leads us. Uh, if um, if it's just like if we will have a choice of what to tell him. Ram's meat'll fancy knowing that. Okay. Well, I lost track of him. I just met him to collect gold for a job. Well, I lost track of him. I just met him to collect gold for a job. Shame. Coleman's been behaving strangely. I didn't notice anything unusual. Hmm? Well, tough. I was hoping you'd learn something. So long. I'm betting on the box. Okay, there we go. Good. Winston should appreciate it and call common case solved. Wait, so can we actually talk to Coleman? Because somebody said. Right? We had a reason to talk to Coleman. I hope we didn't fail any quests from that. Okay, I don't see any quests with like a uh, cross on them, so seems like we haven't failed anything so far, and that's pretty dope. Unless uh, you don't fail quests, they just resolve in a different way. So that's definitely something that could be happening. But let's go ahead and try to find Coleman. Because, okay, what, why are we looking for him? There should be something, right? Like, I'm pretty sure I had something to tell him. Can I have a yeah, so what do you have? Steal this leather jacket for 5,000 orans. That's a lot of orans. Yeah, right, there's nothing new. So let's go ahead to the dike. Talk to Luvarden, maybe even Coleman. He should be there, right? I hope he is. Well, he isn't here. Merchant, Ar Harbor Whore. Fisherman, 
Okay, there we go. Luvarden waiting for us right there. Let's grab the torch. How you doing, friend? You again? They let you into town? Are you Luvarden? I am. Let's talk. Yes. I heard creatures threaten the transport of goods. Yes, I assume you're not asking for curiosity's sake. I'm hoping someone will pay for their removal. I may. The dog by the swamp is crucial to my business. The creatures have caused me losses. What are the beasts like? Drowners. They emerge at night, destroying goods and murdering carriers. I'll pay 400 orans to be rid of them. That's good pay. A pleasure doing business. Indeed. Let's talk. Yes. I think you're paying How's business? as business. You think me a seller of turnips? I run businesses you can't even fathom. I see. You're confusing reflected stars for the night sky. I'm waiting for important news. Wait, what? We just a let's talk. Whatever. Okay, so he has his vanity items. Or should I say valuables? Yeah. And that's pretty much it. Right, not interested in that. Yes. Wait. Okay, can we actually buy meat? Then turn it to that uh, herbalist? Switch them for... Flowers? And then sell the flowers for more? Is that actually <laughs> a business we can do? Because that's really stupid. Well, let's straight up ask him. I think you're paying for salamander pins. I'm just not sure why you would do that. You're mistaken. Why so defensive? I'm also after salamandra and can prove it. If so, bring me three pins. Then we'll talk. Oh, I actually sold my pins. Ouch. Yes. How's business? You think me a seller of turnip? I see. You're com yeah, that's stupid. Farewell. Just bye. Goodbye, my friend. Okay, so Coleman. What happened to Coleman? I feel like we had some unresolved business with him. I just can't, can't stop but feel that. Dies. Must go to the inn in the evening and give the wine to Conrad. I must talk to Kaxin about Berengar. Solar. I should look for a stronger opponent. I have to go to the Harry Bear Inn and talk to the Gambler. Oh. Oh. I must use the bows to get to the swamps and get rid of the monsters. I'll tell Solar I have proof of his innocence. I should question the dwarf Vivaldi. Let's collect the mare of Shreel Ghouls for Kalkstein. I should bring Clivard and three salamander bushes. Huh. So what's up with Coleman then? I mean, I guess we are done with him, but still. Like, I... Hmm. That's weird. Okay then. Oh, there is Zoltan. What the hell is he doing here? That's so weird. Also, that boot black guy. I'm. Curses. I'm gonna figure out what's wrong. What's wrong with him? What are you doing here, Zoltan? Where are you going? Yes. Got a minute? What's eating you? I warn you, some philosophies involved. The meaning of life, eh? The evil that witchers fight stems from chaos, from actions aimed at disturbing order. For where evil spreads, order cannot be established. Nice. The okay, we already heard this. Well, I'm not so sure. <laughs> let me tell you something, Witcher. Once we led a group of women and children through a war-torn land. 
They slowed us down. We had to feed them, protect them. And we had to hide in the woods to pee instead of passing by the road. In short, they were a burden, and ungrateful at that. Know why we helped them? It was the right thing to do. I understand. Okay. Thanks. Yes? Farewell. That was had some really weird conversations. But it's okay. Right. Right, 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 right. So where do we go? Yes, yeah, the gambler at the inn. And after that, the gravekeeper should be good. What's up with the bouncers? Can we actually access his house now? Looking for something? I'll be going. Oh, that was pretty easy. Carmen, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Yeah, see you. nice to see you too. Not much is going on, huh? We are just aimlessly running around the city. Okay, so let's save because this might involve lots and lots of gambling. I respect those who take risks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh you make ends meet gambling? Depends who you play and where. Where is it worth playing? If your pouch be full, the wealthy part of town. Here, you're more apt to get stabbed than walk away rich. Makes sense. Take care. Okay, come on. Sit down already. I re Silver sword mean anything to you? Why do you ask? I don't have time for chit-chat. Take no offense. Where did you get the sword? I want it from the gardener. Where can I find him? The garden at St. Lebiota's hospital. What? Must kill for some fun. <laughs> that that makes no sense. Why would a gardener oh, okay. Wait, so he found a sword maybe? Okay, I mean sure. At least we have some yeah, Gardener is our friend, we are feeding him some food, so that should be easy enough. I thought that he would attack me or something, but he didn't. He didn't. So let's go to the Gravekeeper at the cemetery entrance. See what we can find out about that. Why are you so aggro, guys? Come on, chill out. Oh, the temple gate? This is where we need it. Let's see. What's this? We give our lives to the order. Yep, nope. Totally not. Totally not here. I don't remember who asked me to show them insignia. Hmm. Hi Mr. Gravedigger. What what what's going on Will here? It be pine or oak, perhaps? An entire crypt? Let's see, five miles wide. What are you talking about? Why would you come to a grave digger? So I ask you, who will you be burying? Fear not, my prices are reasonable. I'm here for another reason. You should plan ahead. Very well. What is it you want? He accepts gifts? What's up with people just accepting random gifts? Why is the cemetery shut? Because the dead refuse to rest in peace. Fear not, they stay in their graves in sunlight. Someone should tend to them, though. Perhaps someone will offer a reward, but for now, no one seems bothered. I'll deal with it when you agree to pay me for now, farewell. Tell me something else. What do you need? I'm here about the notice. Yes? I understand you need six jugs of dog's lard. I want you to cull as many mutts as possible. Bring me the lard as proof. What's up with this? 
wine, uh, maybe some ale. I don't get it. What would he wa- Okay, so there are now two random people that accept gifts and we have no idea what to give them. Hmm. That's definitely, definitely... The story sickens. Geralt. Well... Before you say no, let... Sure. Allow me to draw your attention to a few important matters. A primo. The order was created to serve humble folk. Secundo. Anyone can join. Peasant, nobleman or witcher. Tertio. Knights of the order enjoy many privileges. I've heard enough. A quarto. Knights of the order pursue monsters. What do you think? No thanks. But come on, Geralt. Maybe just just think about it. Some privileges. Privileges are nice. Privileges are pretty nice. Okay, Gardener. So, what can you tell me about a silver sword? Oh, I remember. I remember where we. Yes, it's the hospital. We can show our ring to the hospital guard, and he will let us in. I'm more interested in silver swords. I knew one of you would come by eventually. You lost it playing dice. I was sure I'd win. Beware, the sharp one plays well. Where did you get this sword? Five years ago, there was a battle near Brenner. When the dust had settled, our men had beaten the Nilf Guardians. We ceased to call ourselves an Imperial Province that day. You captured the sword during the battle? Yes, it was Witcher Cohen's. A strapping fellow and a rare breed. Not very talkative, mind you. Like most of us. I gave my word the sword would find another Witcher. As he lay dying, he mumbled about teeth and destiny. Then he laughed at his own death. Yet you lost it gambling? I kept it hidden for five years. I lost hope I'd ever run into another Witcher. Miss Shani knew Cohen. She works at the hospital. Thanks. Good luck on the path. Okay, that's cool. Godspeed. That's pretty cool. Right, so let's talk to Shani now. Zoltan is just randomly walking around the city. Do we get drunk? Probably not. It will take a very long time to sober up after that. Oh, actually, let's go ahead and do that. Yes, let's go ahead and do just that. Hi, Solar. What, what can you... What can you tell me? Oh, I hope I have enough alcohol with me. Oh, yeah, I have plenty. Well, let's drink, friend. Oh, my future friend. This is so exciting. Yeah, this is some quality gameplay. Still not getting drunk. Shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Come on, you should be wasted by now. Wow, he is resilient. Oh, I, I'm actually running out of ale. Oh, wow. That's impressive. Well, let's drink some to us. Let's drink some to us on red. There we go. Drinking with you is a fucking treat. I'll show you something interesting, though I shouldn't. Go Find on. Redanian intelligence, a history. Everybody thought this damned scroll had disappeared. Wow. Okay, that's cool. Okay, then, time to play some dice. And. I'll be back shortly. Maybe not.